Well, a new housing development in New Haven is receiving a federal grant of nearly $500,000. That money secured all thanks to a new grant called the Resilient Retrofit Housing Program. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Cuevas is live for us in New Haven with how that money will be used. Hi, Jen. Hey there, Amber. Well, the $450,000 will be used to improve the energy sustainability and efficiency of this development that you see here behind me. Now, this particular development will be specific for senior citizens. This is the next phase of that revitalization plan that will allow families of our seniors to actually age in place. Interim president of Elm City Communities referring to the upcoming project at 34 Level Street in New Haven's West Rock neighborhood. The development includes creating 50 elderly housing apartments of one to two bedrooms with on-site services for the senior residents. Today, the project was awarded $450,000 for energy efficient improvements by the resilient retrofit grant program. It promotes more investment in energy efficiency, in housing and all kinds of other activities where we can actually save money and save our environment from climate change. Specific to 34 Level Street, the funding will allow for an energy efficient building that optimizes insulation, Energy Star appliances to minimize utility use and cost, and a 4,000 square foot solar panel rooftop. By enhancing the building enclosure, this project will significantly reduce energy costs, making homes not more, not just more affordable, but also more comfortable, especially during the extreme weathers. The grant will also provide electric vehicle charging stations. The interim president of Elm City Communities says it's important to provide options. They are living in our development where we're creating housing of choice, right? Um, we want them to also have access to all other resources that are available in, let's say, your market rate development. Now, construction on this development is scheduled to begin in May of next year. In New Haven, Jennifer Cuevas, NBC, Connecticut News.